He also touched on the conflict in the Middle East. And while he was specifically talking about what the U.S. is doing to provide humanitarian aid to Gaza, a few of your colleagues, Congresswoman Tlaib and Bush, held up signs that said, quote, lasting ceasefire now. And then Democrat uh, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar was holding a sign that said, stop sending bombs, while President Biden was speaking about the Israel-Hamas war. What's your reaction to that? Well, the president is a supporter of Israel, as am I, and as a majority of the people in the country, as well as in the Congress. So we have to recognize Israel's right to defend itself, and we have to recognize Hamas as a terrorist organization that perpetrated an awful, awful thing uh, last January, or last October. But uh, at the, by the same token, we have to show a leadership role when it comes to recognizing the rules of war. And that means taking care of innocent people and providing humanitarian aid. And he was trying to emphasize that we'd like a ceasefire for a certain amount of time to bring the hostages home. And we're gonna now set up like hospital ships or a floating dock to be able to deliver more of that humanitarian aid. And I think he struck the right balance. But how do you feel specifically about some of your colleagues on the Democratic side seemingly protesting his Israel policy at the State of the Union by holding those signs? Well, they have to answer to their own constituents. I don't think it's appropriate. I didn't do that, but they are playing to their own, uh, either their background, their feelings, or their constituents. And so I'm a strong believer in the First Amendment, and if they thought that was appropriate, then that was their choice.